Inside the State Emergency Operations Center, I'm Brian May with this wildfire update for Sunday, July the 8th. And we'll start with the largest active fire, and it's the farthest north. It's the Klamathon Fire in Siskiyou County. Now, favorable weather conditions did help firefighters today, but this fire is still at over 30,000 acres, just 25% contained, and we had more evacuations today. This time they were on the Oregon side of the border. It is so far burned 40 structures and resulted in one fatality. Moving south down the state, the county fire in Yolo and Napa counties. This fire started on the 4th of July. It is now over 88,000 acres, containment slightly up, now at 57%, with 24 structures lost. Continuing down the state, the holiday fire that exploded late Friday night is at 100 acres. It's 80% containment, and officially, the number of structures lost is still listed at five, but officials know that number is much higher. They expect to update that number when they can go in and assess the damaged areas. And if you are one of the over 3,000 either evacuated or affected by the holiday fire, we want to let you know there will be a local assistance center opening up to help you get back on your feet. The center will be located at the Goleta Union School District offices. That's 401 North Fairview in Goleta. It'll be open from 12 until 7 Monday, 9 to 7 Tuesday through Friday, and then 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. And you can find all of this information on our Cal OES Facebook and Twitter pages. Back to the fires, the Valley Fire in San Bernardino County continues to grow. It's now over 1,100 acres, just 5% containment, with 500 homes still threatened. There were two fires burning on the grounds of Camp Pendleton in San Diego County. Those two fires have now been combined and they are called the Pendleton Complex Fire. And combined, they cover over 1,500 acres with 50% containment. And we'll wrap up with the West Fire, also in San Diego County. It is just over 500 acres, 92% containment, with 18 structures already destroyed. And we will continue to see dangerous fire conditions all across California for the upcoming week. So please limit any outdoor activity that could result in a spark. We also urge you have a family plan ready in case you or your family gets evacuated. And if so, please heed those evacuation orders if you're told to leave. For more information on any of the current California wildfires, you can also go to the Cal Fire Incident page and be sure and check out road conditions before traveling to any of these areas that have been affected by the fires. For all of us here at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.